all and I can never get enough I've been up too long and I way too drunk but we straight up in it and we feeling Yo what is going on today guys welcome back to episode number 17 of the Pokemon Y Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke And today I don't know quite what we're doing I think we're gonna go to the power plant I think that's our next destination but in the last episode we uh we took on took on Serena I think her name's Serena. All right. Anyway, we took on Serena, and then Ramos, Ramos, Ramos. That's right. We took on Ramos. Anyway, today we're gonna be going to the power plant. Still rocking the same team. I didn't actually level anyone up. I think I said at the end of the episode I would, but I didn't. So you know, that happened. Um, and yeah. So I mean, we're just gonna we're gonna go chugging along. Uh, somebody did actually tell me there's a fisherman, a fisherman, fisherman. Fisher dude, somewhere in this town, who gives me a rod. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he gives me his rod. Gives me his rod. That's uh, it's not a uh, proper phrasing, but it is phrasing. Does anybody else give me anything? That's what I want to know. Probably not. These people are all selfish. Yeah, look at that. All these rude people. Can't even. Where is this dude at? He's probably down by the bay. In all honesty, now that I think about it. Yeah, so we're probably gonna have to go back here. Wait, I, I'm pretty sure I talked to a fisherman, didn't I? Alright, who cares? We're gonna ride the monorail, go back to the start of this town, and see if we can find uh, the fisherman. Fisherman? Fisherman. The man who fishes. I wonder if we can actually uh, fish here as well. That'd be pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and tab this over. I don't like staring at Pokemon, I like staring at the PSS. Makes me feel like I'm about to free for all. Um, there's a house right here. Let's go check this house. Uh huh? Oh, this is a this is a hotel. Okay. Absolutely nothing in here. Excuse me, I'm looking for a fisherman. I'd really like to find the fisherman, so we can get our good rod. Get that good, that, that good rod. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. I just really want to find this fisherman. Here's the Opa. Is this, what do you, what do you do? You're the game director. Okay. You're not who I wanted. So the fisherman's probably on the dock, where you know any normal fisherman would be. Because somebody said he's in Comarine City. Cor Cormarine. Comarine. Whatever city we're in. Somebody said he's here. So, unless I was uh I was being lied to. Are you a fisherman? Oh, <gasps> yo, we found Amari. Cool, cool. The question is, can we fish here, though? I feel like we can't. So that means, like, no encounter for this area, right? No, that means we can't get an encounter in Comarine City, which is weird. Why would there... I mean, I don't know. I feel like they should give you a place to fish here. Unless they do, and I'm just blind. Yeah, I don't think so. But anyway, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go register that. Here we go, here we go, we're gonna register it. Boom. Boom. Alright, and then... We're gonna continue on. My phone was ringing for some reason, I don't know who was calling me. But, they got hit with the finest of curves. I told them, no. Crazy, right? The world works in mysterious ways. Alright, anyway, after that little excursion, we're gonna go and continue on to the power plant. You know how it is. Rock the socks. Rock some socks. I don't know, but we already wasted our encounter in the... I think it's called the Badlands. I think I called it the desert last episode, but... It's actually the Badlands. Them, them lands bad af. you know what I'm saying? We're getting a hot little clip, though, from Lysander. Lysandre. Professor Sycamore told me that you can now wield Mega Evolution. That is truly wonderful. With that power, you can steer your future in a better direction. Okay, I don't care about anything else you have to say. Just, just, I just want to get through this, alright? I just want to get down to the power plant. I'm trying to restore some power, you know? Is this, is this, what are the name? Lucio and Dexio? Lucio? I know one of them's Dexio, I'm pretty sure. Wait, what? Okay, so we got our Pokedex upgrade. Which... 
doesn't matter at all because, you know, obvious reasons. Oh, are you are you an aide? You you are not. You don't give me anything. What is what is wrong with that? Like, why would you be dressed up like a professor if you're just gonna curve me? All right, now we gotta figure out how to get to the power plant. I don't know how we didn't battle that guy, but we didn't. Ooh, ooh. I think we gotta go. Ooh, dude, I'm so clean. No encounter? Dude, I haven't gotten attacked once. And then I think we talk... No, do we not talk to the rock? Oh, there we go. Yeah, we talk to the rock. Get this power plant pass. There's one thing I remember about this game. It's where to get the power plant pass. The PPP. The triple, triple P. You know, this game's really weird thinking about it. They send you, like, to one gym after the other. This dude has a... Okay. He's... Yep. Cool. He's got a thunderous. But yeah, like the last like what four episodes since when did we start? I don't know, but anyway, so there's like a huge gap in gyms. Like we last episode we took on a gym leader. We're pretty close to taking on another gym leader, in all honesty. So it's you know it's a crazy cycle. But this thing you snarl on me. So I'm gonna hit it with the flying press. Water pulls. We're bug fighting, I believe, so this shouldn't no, we ate that. What level is this Thunderous, actually? That would probably... Okay, so it's level 31. It's not that bad. But we're not that overleveled, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Q's a powerhouse, though. Tropius. Alright, let's get... Let's get the boy Burger out here, you know? We should be seeing an evolution from him relatively soon. And by relatively soon, I mean in 10 levels. So, I don't know how to feel about that, but... We'll hit him with the Shadow Claw. He's got Magna Rise. And now he's an Electric-type. Cool. Um... Okay, we don't have anything super effective to uh, Electric-types, but at least he doesn't resist our moves. He's level 33, too. Nice, nice. Hit him with a Rock Throw. Metal Sound. What is he, still? Okay, so he's still type now. That's actually very unfortunate for me because I don't have anything that can hurt him. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like Burger. Burger's not working out. Let's go to Napkin. We can still get some XP off. And uh, totally not get body. Because, you know, we're just, we're, we're that good. Petal Blizzard, okay. Um, We're going to eat that, right? Okay, we kind of ate that. This is a lock-in move, so that's kind of unfortunate. We'll hit him with the Rock Smash. Metal Sound. Okay, so he's going to turn... Oh, but he's faster than us. Wait. We used Rock Smash, didn't we? That's going to be super effective now. GG, lol. Dead. Petal Blizzard. Alright, so he's going to go back to Grass, and that is going to hurt a little bit. Because we do have minus Special Defense. And that was a crit. Okay. But we took that like a champ. And, oh, what? Okay, I don't know how we didn't take him out. It's actually very unfortunate. He's gonna probably electromagnetism this turn. Oh, you know, he's gonna have metal sound. Okay, cool. That is fine by me because that means he's dead. And you know what I love? A dead trope. No, that's that's mean. I don't love the dead tropius. I mean, I love all tropius, but specifically the ones that are alive. Like if I had to pick. Jaffeo. Easy victory, although it took us a long time. You'll stylishly run away. Dude, this dude's got mad style. Dude, he's probably rocking like the, the Bape Supreme. What? I I found it. Oh, okay, we walk around him. I was, I was really. Wait, is there an item in this rock? I feel like there's an item in one of these rocks. No? No way. I can't be wrong. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. Wow. Crazy. Alright, anyway. We're now in the power plant. Where we belong. You know, this actually reminds me a lot of, um... Was it a power plant? In Pokemon Coliseum and XD, Gale of Darkness. There was a place like this. It might have been a power plant as well. Or maybe it was some sort of factory. I don't know. But I always thought that place was really cool. I think the, uh, the five brothers were outside and they were all different colors. Was it five? I feel like it was five. Maybe it was more. Actually, I think it was like eight. 
I really want to replay those games. Those games were uh, pretty big parts of my childhood. I had a copy of Coliseum that I actually scratched up. The back was just completely destroyed so the disc wouldn't read. And I was really upset. I would always like, I would keep it. I would never throw it away. And like every once in a while I'd pop it in and, and hope it would work. It never did. How out of my life. Just things not working at all. <laughs> Anyways, in Draining Kiss? Alright, that's super effective. Okay. Wow, we did zero damage, and I think it did... I think we did literally the same amount of damage. Uh, he, he healed more back up. Um, I don't know what the flying press. see what type he is. Maybe he's dark. Okay, so that's resisted, so... Hmm. What resists fighting? Flying. Let's hit him with an icicle crash. Yo, watch this. Super effective. Bang, bang. You already know. He's dead. It really helps to know your types in extreme randomizers. Because you kind of you kind of have to guess and like scout it out and hope you're right. And then it'll come to a point where you might be right. Or you could just be horribly wrong and get demolished. Luckily, we haven't had one of those horribly wrong get demolished moments. I don't think, at least. A Gorbis? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go into Burger for some, some XP. We're gonna do some switch training here on the fly. Napkin's a little low, otherwise I probably would have gone into him. Or her. My bad. Alright, let's go. Can we... I feel like... <laughs> you got this, Burger. Chip away? What does that do? I don't know what that did. Or what type it is. Ooh. Ooh, but we can take this thing out. We got this. Infestation? Yo, infest me. That's gross. That's not what I meant. There are no infestations here. Alright, another Shadow Claw should probably take it out. Well, not probably. Definitely take it out. Unless we just got horribly unlucky. But we're not that unlucky. We're pretty unlucky. But we're not that unlucky, thankfully. Smelling salts? Isn't that like a drug? Or no, that's bath salts. Oops. Close enough. One of the two. Alright, but anyway, we took out that grunt relatively quickly. That was actually pretty easy. Burger got some levels. Isn't there a place to heal in here as well? Yeah, isn't this a healing room? Someone? Please. This dude sells a bunch of fresh water? Or does he only sell one? Oh my goodness. <coughs> so if we want fresh water, we're gonna have to spend like an hour here buying them. Alright, we're not gonna do that. Yet. I'll probably come back and do it. Ooh, an item. A zap plate. Okay. Hmm. Is this like a bathroom stall? This looks like a bathroom stall. Very odd place. Oh, he's trying to hide. I thought he was like peeing or something. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, anyway, we're, <laughs> we're gonna heal up. Um, yeah, we still got those fresh waters. I'll just, I'll keep the fresh waters on deck. Actually, you know what? I'll go buy a few. I'll probably come back here later and buy a bunch off screen. Because, you know, it takes too long to do on screen. And like, <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, if we wanted to buy, see, it takes like five seconds per fresh water. Maybe. So that would be, if we wanted 100 fresh water, that would be 500 seconds, which would be however many minutes. That'd be like, I guess it wouldn't be that long then. It'd be like five minutes-ish, five-ish minutes, four or five minutes for 100 fresh waters, unless I just totally messed that math up. Hold on, let's, let's check, my, <laughs> check my math in the middle of this battle. We'll hit it with a flying press to see what it is. Um, so we got, we got, we got 500 seconds, because, you know, 1, 500. Alright, so resist that. Alright, so divided by 60 seconds per minute. Okay, that'd be about 8 minutes. Um, turns out my math was really off. Uh, but it'd be about 8 minutes for 100 bottles of water. Which is kind of insane, if it's even 5, if it's even 5 seconds. It's probably more like 5 or 6. I don't know what I'm saying. We're gonna icicle crash this thing. Because it did resist the fighting, so hopefully it won't resist the ice. 
And there it is. Q has like the most, the best moveset because he can flying press, see if that resists. If it does, drop some ice on him. You know, easy. GG. Q's a very, very strong boy. Slow start? Okay, he can't get it going. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for you. I feel very sorry for you, boy. Alright, there we go. That did absolutely nothing. Cut. That did absolutely nothing. Alright, so if it was a steel, it's probably... What if it's a water type? I'm just flying press, see what happens. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, dead. Alright, I'm probably gonna switch up uh, Q for me up front because he's, you know, he's kind of carrying... Wait. She's not even a- oh, okay. I was really confused for a second. I was like, wait, why did we just fight a random trainer? Aren't we supposed to be fighting grunts? But then I realized, this is a randomizer. What am I- what am I doing? What am I thinking? Can you tell me? Because I don't know what I'm thinking. Here we go. We got- we got grunt number one here. We well, actually grunt number three. Right? One, two- yeah, grunt number three up here. Taking him out. A dugong. Okay. <coughs> Too gone, more like dumb seal. Is it a seal? I feel like Dugong's a seal. Dugong strikes me as a seal. Ring out? Okay, what does that do? That did a lot. Oh my goodness. And okay, so this Dugong is a water type. That's level 34 as well. <coughs> I'm not really comfortable with that. I know he's a gr the, the prick. The steel thing is a ground type, not a water type. Because we used an electric move and it didn't affect it. And I'm pretty sure ground is the only type that uh, is immune to electric. So, by deductive reasoning, we can conclude that this dugong is in fact a ground type. You know what that means? It means we're going to hit him with a surf. ka -chow. That did not one-shot. Wow. Uh, I'm impressed. This thing's special defense must be off the charts. It must be out of this world. But we're gonna kill him now, so it's, it's okay. Unless we get like a mega roll damage low. Da mega? Mega roll damage low. What I meant to say was... Mega... What did I mean to say? Uh, 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 I don't know what to say. I'm an idiot. Wait. Bro? Oh, we have to walk all the way around. That's right. Can we skip any of these battles? No, we can't. Alright, cool. Yeah, I don't think we can skip any of these battles. So that's kind of wild. Hopefully we don't lose anyone. Oh, Sunkern? Easy. Unless the Sunkern just destroys my team. In which case, I will just- I'll go cry. Um, I'll go cry myself to sleep. Hit him with the rock smash. The old one-two. Kapow. Okay, it wasn't very effective, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, we lost our uh, pure power ability, so... Head charge? Isn't that rock? LOL, was that supposed to hurt? We're booing. Should be able to take it out. It was got a sticky barb, too. Oh, um, speaking of held items... Somebody brought up the fact that Q's ability is Poison Heal. So if we could find the Toxic Orb, then, you know, obviously the Toxic Orb would go very well on Q. The only problem with that is the Toxic Orb is a Battle Maison only item, I believe, is what I looked up on Cerebi, and that's what it said at least. I should have switched Napkin out, but I'm an idiot and forgot to, so. We're gonna do that now, we're gonna go to Q. Because Q's the lowest level, and probably the only thing that can kill it, so. But anyway, yeah, so we probably won't be getting the Toxic Orb for Q. Uh, but he is fine with leftovers, so... Unless- wait, can you get access to the Maison before... Before you beat the Elite Four, or is it after? I don't know, man, I haven't played these games enough. Actually, this is, my, this is gonna be my first time beating this game, actually, now that I think about it. Um, I got to the point where the Team Flare base kind of like implodes when doing my versus with Callum, but we haven't done anything since then, so I've almost beat this game, but I haven't actually, so you're going to see me beat it for the first time. You're going to, you're going to see my fist. Oh yeah. 
That sounds really creepy. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, we got a metal coat. Okay. That's kind of useless considering, you know, we don't really have any metal coat evolving Pokemon. Yo, what if we got a Scyther in the next route? Or at some point in the game, that'd be dope. Or, a, or an Onix, I guess. Onix is cool sometimes. We actually can't skip any of these guys. This sucks. We're going to be here for at least an hour. Hope you guys are ready for this hour-long episode. I know I'm not. I thought this was going to be like 20 minutes, but apparently not. But yeah, I just got home from work. It's pretty, pretty not lit, honestly. But then again, when is work ever lit? You know? It's a struggle. Enjoy it while you're young, kids. I say that like, a, like I'm an 80-year-old man living in... I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm not an 80-year-old man. At least I don't think so. Sometimes I feel like I am. This game is with a close combat though. What am I even talking about anymore? I'm lost. I need help. I need a doctor. Doctor. Alright, we can do this rock too. It, uh, I think it, that was neutral, but we did get the defense drop, so. Hit him with a rock smash. The old one, two. One, two. Oh, it's ghost type. Cool. I guess we're not. <laughs> guess we're not hitting it with the, uh. With the thing in the Let's hit him with the, the rock too. We're gonna miss. We didn't miss because. I doubted you, Agron. I'm sorry, bud. I don't know how I ever could. You're a lad, you know that? A Charmander? LOL. Do I want to go to Burger? Yeah, we're gonna go to Burger. Battle of the Dinosaurs. Fun fact, uh, there's very few Japanese names I know for Pokemon. Charmander's not one of them. I don't know Charmander's name, but I do know Charizard, which is Lizardon. So, fun fact, just wanted to drop some knowledge on you. I know you probably don't care. Char- Rattled? Oh, it's Speed Rose, okay. Rock Blast? We are fairy fighting, this is gonna do nothing to us. We completely counter this Charmander. Also, I know Bulbasaur's because it sounds really cool. It's, uh, Fushigi Dane, which, uh, you know, I don't know exactly what it means. But yeah, I'm a nerd. Basically, is what I'm is what I'm trying to tell you. I I'm telling you I'm a nerd, but I don't just want to come out and say it because then I'll look like a real nerd. Anyway, <laughs> this is what happens when we have to fight Team Flare Grunts. I don't know what I I don't know what I'm talking about, and I just start ranting about any. Well, it's not even a rant. I just start talking about any and everything because I don't know what to talk about because I'm actually dying inside. Someone save me! This is my cry for help. Oh no, I took a bad drink of water. <coughs> oh. Alright, I almost died, but we're good. Oh, they they got a Kangaskhan. Is it a Mega? If it is, I'm gonna die. It's not a Mega. Cool. <coughs> I'm dying. Well, I'm gonna die regardless. But at least it's not a Mega Kangaskhan. That would've made things, like, infinitely... Hydro Cannon. Okay, we, we're, we can live this. Yeah, we're good. Is it the one we have to recharge after? Or is that... That's, yeah, that's Hydro Cannon. Right? I hope. Okay, cool. So we can get this Wild Charge off for free. Oh, gone. Oh, and it, it was a crit and it resisted and we still managed to kill it. This is how good Napkin is, dude. Although I am really scared for Napkin's sake because his health stat isn't very high. So the, all the recoil damage he's going to take is actually going to take like a huge toll on him. And that kind of scares me a little bit. Because, you know, obviously too much recoil. And he's gonna die. Okay, we got a health wing. Is that, is that, like, raise health? Was I literally just talking about health when we get a health wing? I'm just, I'm a psychic, guys. I don't, I don't know how to tell you. Uh, it just, you know, it happens. Like, I guarantee you, once we cross this bridge, there's gonna be another Team Flare Grant. Yeah, okay, so it increases base HP. There we go. Boom. Uh, we're gonna hyper potion napkin though, because he is low. And obviously we don't want napkin to die because he's like a he's our he's our power power look at that. Psychic. Boom. Did I not just say there was gonna be Team Flare Grunt right there? I think I did. That you know, that doesn't really look like a grunt to me. That kind of looks like Lysa. Maybe it was just the lighting was off, but it, it kind of looked like a Lysander to me. 
<laughs> Anyways. He's got a Swalot. Dude, I haven't seen a Swalot in forever. Legit, Gulpin used to be like one of my favorite Pokemon in um, Hoenn. Or when I was playing through like Ruby and Sapphire, I would always, or I wouldn't always pick up a Gulpin, but I would see Gulpin and I'd be like, wow, that Pokemon looks pretty rad. And yeah, so that's my uh, my story with Swalot, and it's got a special tag boost. Electric Terrain, thank you for... Oh wait, doesn't that make Electric types faster? He just made me faster. What? I can't tell if this is Lysander's battle music or the same battle music we've had throughout. Because it sounds like a boss battle music. Yeah, this is boss battle music. I'm, I'm like 100% sure. But I dig it. I dig it. It's got this like edgy vibe to it. You know, Lysander's an edgy man. Alright, there we go. We got the speed drop. Uh, for some reason, I was like, I thought it dropped defense, and I was like, wait. I always thought Rock Team dropped speed, because, like, you know, you're dropping rocks on someone. If somebody, like, threw boulders on me, I'm pretty sure my speed would fall. Pretty sure my health would fall, too. You know, I think I'd actually die. Now that I think about it. Anyways, we took out fake Lysander. We don't get to take out the real Lysander until later. That was his body double. Oh my goodness, please tell me this is a lot. There's like, there has to be, this has to be the last one. And veteran, isn't that a, isn't that a gym leader? I, maybe it's not, I don't know. Who is that guy? I feel like he's someone important, but maybe I'm overthinking it, but it, he's got a Nido King. A Nido King. Dark Pulse? We're gonna eat this. I'm gonna get up. Okay, I kinda, oh wait, whoa, he got the flinch? What? Yo, it's got Serene Grace, bet. Here we go, here we go. Okay, that wasn't worth the damage, but we did get the defense drop. Okay, can we live another one? I don't want to risk it. Not after what happened last time I decided to risk it. Okay, so we have 31 health. Let's see how much he does. That way we can, uh, we can plot. If we can drop down to 61. Oh, Swift. Yo, fun fact, I used to think this move always looked super cool in the anime. When, like, uh, Apom or someone would use it, I'd be like, yo, the move looks dope. Copycat? What? He just do a backflip? What does Copycat do? I don't know what that does. I'm pretty sure it just copies a move, but I, thought, I always thought it was from your opponent. Unless I'm thinking of Sketch, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna go into. Let's go into Burger. It's YOLO it. YOLO mode. How long is this episode? This episode is 28 minutes so far. At least this is what it says in my recording. It could be like 27, probably. I don't know why I'd spent. You know what? It's a long episode. And we still have a bit more to go. We might be able to wrap it around 40, actually. Okay, so. Shadow Claw doesn't affect this thing, so it's it's normal. So we're gonna throw some rocks at it. See if we can't knock him down a peg or two. Check it, check it, check it. Oh no, our accuracy's falling. Hello, Sneezo, can you stop? Uh, it's got Volt Tackle. Okay. And we're gonna miss Rock Team, aren't we? Ooh, we didn't. Cool, cool. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Alright, so. We're gonna need a fighting move for this. Yo, is it time for the boy Q? Honestly, Q is probably the best thing that's ever happened to our team. Besides Cam and Chris, but they're already broken right now, so... They don't really count. Q's just cool because he's he's a Dragonite. And a pseudo- wait. Yeah, he's a pseudo- le We have a pseudo legend, a legend, and a starter. That's like a pretty OP team combination. Like, our stats are probably off the chart. And oh my- can we- can we please hit a move? Like, honestly? Please hit a move. Please. Okay, we got it. Can this one shot? Please one shot. Okay, one shot. Bless. Papa bless. Alright. <clears throat> see what he wants to go into last. Come on, give me a thumbnail. Give me a thumbnail. And there it is. There's the thumbnail, boys. 
He sent out a Yuxi. No, but honestly, the key... I've, I've had friends tell me this. The key to getting thumbnails... For, like, series is... Series is? Series? Is to, like, make sure you find... Le well, you can't really make sure you find legends. But if you find legends, like, always put them in the thumbnail. That's basically what all my friends have told me who do Let's Plays, like... Supra. Callum. Luke. They've all just said, if you see legendaries, thumbnail them. You'll get views. It's like instant views. It's like, it's like those little pill things. I just punched my mic. It's like those little pill things that you would put in like a cup of water and it would grow. Anybody else have one of those? I would always have a, like, I think this one time I had a, a lizard one. And I dropped it in water, you know, left it for like a day. Came back. And it was like a, a little alligator thing. Like probably the size of my hand. And I ripped its tail off. I, I don't really know why. I don't know why I remember that, but I, I do, and I feel really bad. So, if you're out there, I apologize. I don't know why I'd be out there watching this specific video. Wait, it's a, okay. It, never mind. It it it'd be it's a. Uh, there's so many things wrong with what I just said. I'm kind of my brain is actually just kind of fried right now. Like, if you had to, if you asked me to tell you the difference, the difference between left and right, I would, I'd probably say like potato. That's where my mind's at right now. Anyways, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I just want to, I just want to clear this power plant. I want to restore the power so that I can go back and have the power to nap. That's what I want. Alright, but here we are, finally. We got this bald dude up here. And this chick with the, the cyborg glasses. I don't know their names. And I probably won't get to see their names because they're going to be random. That's right, yep. Gar Garson Admin. Behem. Yo, Behem on the real though is such a tight Pokemon. He's a little Brainiac, dude. Look at him. He's, he's like... Dude, that's E.T. That's my boy E.T. Alright, but for some reason that's his only Pokemon. Which is kind of worrying. But you know what's fine? Did he use Nasty Plot? What did he use? Fire Punch? Alright, whatever. Let's hit him with the, uh... Yeah, let's hit him with the Wild Charge. Let's be, uh, let's be Risque. Ooh, the one-shot. I don't know why I didn't expect that to one-shot. I mean, it's a Napkin. Napkin's a freaking beast. He's, he's an effing beast, dude. Wait, alright, he, so he's he's backing off in fear. He's like, I can't do it. I'd not do it. Alright, so we're gonna have another battle, it seems. Is she gonna have six Pokemon? Maybe? My name is Aliana. Aliana! That sounds Italian. My name is Aliana. That's a roller skater, Aliana. She's gonna send me with Okay, so here's her here's the six team person. It's it's her. She has she starts off with a wiggly tough. Alright, that was my I'm sorry about that. He's level 38. Oh my goodness. Are we under level? I thought we were like on par, but I guess the world just wants us to fail. So we're gonna go with Cam. I swear if she has level 40s, I'm gonna be so upset. Alright. It's got a destiny knot. Wow. Water's Oh no, that does more damage, more health you have, right? Wow, that did a lot. That did half of Kim's. We're gonna have to take Oblivion Wing. Alright, here we go. We'll do some damage and get some health back. And that way, if it goes for a water spell, it'll not kill us. Oh, all the way back up to full. What the heck? I'll take it. Okay, Trick Room. So that means we just gotta use crazy slow stuff from now on. Water Sprout, how much is it gonna do now? I didn't even do 30. Crazy. Absolutely wild. Wigglytuff's almost dead. Please don't heal. It's, they're gonna heal. I, I feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, maybe not. Horn Leech? What? This Wigglypuff is busted. It's got a recovery move and a uh, water spout. Yo, imagine we can- 
Can Willard learn that? I know Willard can learn Water Spout, but can it learn like Slag Off? Oh, wait, imagine. Wait, Egg Bomb? Huh? Uh, yeah? Sorry, Wish, but we got, we got better, we got better things to learn. Like Egg Bomb. Sceptile, yo, that's dope. Um, but, alright, so Cam's Ghost, it's probably got something that can destroy ghost types. So we're going to... Key... Yeah, we're going to Q. Hopefully it's not too high leveled. If it's, if it's gonna be really high leveled, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, so, we're, okay, I didn't mean to blow a punch, but it looks like we're in a bit of a bind here. Thunder wave? Yo, chill. Chill out. At least it's not a mega. Wait, that's not... That is mega. No. No, it's not. Wait. Mega Sceptile's tail turns into a tree, right? Okay, so it's not mega, thankfully. And we oh, because trick rooms up, we're faster now because of the par paralysis, paralysisation. Icicle crash is still super effective, and that thing's gone. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that was. Wait, are did the whole starters get their megas in this game? I feel like they did because we have a Blazikanite. I don't know why I stayed in. I probably should switch out, but whatever. Level forty. Oh my, frick. Thunder Punch? Wait, okay, we're bug fighting. I don't know why. That did so much. What? Why did that do so much? Alright, we just need to not get paralyzed. Here we go. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Um. Okay, so. Question. What was this flying? Rock? Steel? Okay, so it was just steel too. Is it water doesn't resist flying, does it? I don't know, but this thing's got thunder punch and it's really scaring me. Um and I don't know who to go into. Um let's go for a flying press and see how much that's gonna do. We can live another thunder punch, I know. Oh, okay. That's that's very unfortunate. So it's doing about like 30 to 40 damage with uh, one one thing about Bobber. So we're gonna heal up, and then I think oh, but it's using Thunder Punch. So with my luck, I'd probably unparalyze us and then get reparalyzed because that's my luck. Oh my goodness, this is intense. This is intense. We're gonna go for another Flying Press though. We'll just we'll just Yolo it. Yolo! All right, here we go. Here we go. What? Alright, that's very unfortunate. I'm gonna need you to stop getting paralyzed, Q. Alright, so we got we got 63 health right now. It's gonna Thunder Punch. It's gonna drop us down to like 20. Yeah, go oh, 20 exactly. I'm a genius. Alright, we're gonna Flying Press. It's gonna die. What type is this thing? It was this Flying? What? This thing is the perfect being. It has no weakness. Wait, okay, so it resisted fighting, flying, and steel. What? What is this thing? It's actually the perfect Pokemon. Let's try Muddy Water. We found it. We found the weakness, boys. We found the weakness. Holy cow. Because if it was rock, which I'm thinking it was, it resisted fighting, which should kill it, right? Or am I... No, I'm not wrong. What the heck? That thing was actually the perfect being. That's insane. Is this not any ninja ask? We're going to go into Chris, because why not? Ninjask, more like Ninjdinjask, or I don't. That was all right. I'm sorry. That was really, that was really bad. Level 42, 40 freaking two. Where do you train? 
Where did you get these? Sludge bomb? Okay, we're in flying dragon. This isn't going to be super effective, so. But we get poisoned because that's what we do here. We die. It's going gonna, gonna to kill it that one hit. What? This ninjask is so bulky. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. We got this, we got this. Okay, we're going to go for the, uh, the surf here. Sludge bomb. Okay, we can take another one of those and not die. Um... Okay, and it's dead. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm actually very nervous right now. I'm trying not to lose a teammate. Um, but wait, okay, we're four, four down, I think. It's lost four Pokemon. We, we're not gonna get ingrained. Because that prevents us from switching out. So if Chris is like in a bad spot, like he is now, we wouldn't be able to switch out. Tyrantrum. Oh. Okay. Tyrantrum. Okay, we're gonna go into. I think Tyrantrum is fairy fighting, so we're gonna go into Cam here. Because Cam has a Blooming Wing, and if the typings don't change. Like, if Tyrantrum still has the fairy flying. Then Oblivion Wing should do a decent chunk of damage. Which would be stellar. Smackdown. Alright, cool. Smackdown versus Raw. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, so it's neutral, but it still did a ton of damage, so I will take it. Give me all that health back. Yum 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 yum. Hit it again. It's just gonna smack us down again. I'm fine with that. Alright, it's dead. It's dead. We got, we got one more thing to worry about. Hopefully it's relatively easy to kill. Whoever this person is has had a relatively easy team. Or not, okay, not easy, but balanced. This is our first person we've seen without a legendary. They've had the Celio, which was crazy strong. The Tyrantrum. Uh, what? I don't, I don't remember what else. But there hasn't been a legendary, so that's, that's cool. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. I was already scared enough. I don't know why I went for Vino Shock. It just it felt like the right move, you know. Holy cow! Right. This thing should die relatively easy. Hit him with the, hit him with a muddy water. Okay, so one more should probably take it out. And for some reason, it's using Twister. I don't know why. Don't know what's going on in in their head, in their mind, in their uh, membrane. But boom. There it is. We have taken down uh, whoever this person is. Aliana. That's right. Forgot her name. Aliana. <clears throat> Let me say it a few more times so I remember. Aliana. Alright, good, good. I think I think I got Aliana now. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Alright, cool, cool. Now here's uh, Luke's, Lucia and Dexio. Dexo. I think. Is that them? I don't know. They got masks on. Oh my goodness. Alright, so they gave us heals. So thanks. They gave us some four stores. Yo, what nice people. Honestly. What legends. Okay, so now we can, uh... Aravar. Aravar. Uh, uh, yeah, it'd be great if I could speak the language of English. Alright. I wish there was, like, some cool or rad item up there, but... I guess there isn't. But wow, we made it through the power plant without losing a single pot... Without losing a single pocket monster, we took on Eliana with our Pokemon under leveled and still managed to come out on top. I'd say that's pretty impressive. I'm pretty impressed with us right now. I don't know about you, but here's a squad looking fresh, all healed up. And I'm thinking I'm gonna end the episode off here in front of the uh, fresh water dude. And I'm just gonna buy a bunch of fresh waters for next episode. See, so we got how much money do we got? We got like 60k, right? Oh, we almost got 100k. Wow. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So we're going to go buy a bunch of fresh waters, which you'll see in the next episode. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Today's comment, phrase, letter, word, thing of the day is going to be globe. Alright? Globe. Because I can show you the world. But regardless, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you could drop a like, I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.